ZL Entertainment. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna consider him as such. It looks like we got all that stuff in there, so... Do we have to shoot anything to get it going, like in Resident Evil 4? Nope. Right in front of us, and I don't think we can push, push the brake back down, so... <sighs> Anything in this area? Oh, ahead of us. Just, you know, gonna use a flare right here. Should keep them away from us. Whoops, did not mean to get out two of them. Oh, and it just falls down, so we got out just in time. We got a safety zone up here. Um, but let's go this way. We have, um... Oh. have some dying birds back there. And the battle music is gone. So, we, yeah, we have all this stuff here. I remember the, uh secret supply chest being there, so, yeah. Alright. Rest up a bit in here. Not that we had any health that needed to be regenerated, but, uh, we have an area up ahead with a lot of birds, if I remember right. I remember there being a section with a lot of birds. One of them. Get our flare out. Let's just keep this going. I believe if we have a flare out while we do this, like in the front of that thing, they won't bother us at all. Make sure we jump across. Because falling down there would kill us. Yeah, this is the part with a lot of birds that just come out of us come out at us from like everywhere it's amazing <laughs> yep just getting ourselves to the next section ahead got some uh darkness essence on the ground. Ah, come right along. We got some area up here that- yeah, there it is. Whoa. Ow. Let's just run in there. There we go. Now we're good. Alright. Ammo? Nope. Just cans. Not a pyramid. Not a can pyramid, so... Um... I feel like we're almost done with the game. Like, well, obviously with the game, but I think we're almost done with this episode. I feel like we have, like, maybe half an hour left. If that. I don't know. Probably less if we included the credits. I don't remember how long the credits are. Like 10 minutes maybe? 20? Somewhere around there, I'm sure. Probably like 15 to 20 minutes. Ba ba da bum ba dum ba ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Um, there's like nothing in here to do. It's just this part is just literally like. How would I explain this area? It's not creepy, 
spooky or frightening at all anymore. It's not horrifying. Never was. It's just like, just a prolonged area just to get to where you need to go. Damn indeed, dude. Wow, there's so much stuff I don't remember. Like this whole area right here, I don't remember. And we're supposed to do this without shooting our guns? Gonna need my flashbangs. Ow. Alright, that should take care of them. Alright, let's have our flare, flare out while we start this up. Yay. Yay. And... Oh, four? Or was it three? I wasn't really counting. But we got it, so that's all that matters. Alright, um... Why do I feel like another thing's gonna fall down at us? Oh. Right as I say it. Shit. Yeah. So this is the area where a lot of crap just falls down on us. Whoa. I don't remember this section at all. I know I've played it before, I've beaten it. I've beaten the game like two to three to four times. I'm gonna say two to four times, because that's proper English. Or more efficient English. Yeah, I beat it two, three, four, five, maybe six times. <laughs> How am I surviving all this? Like this is our last flare. Yep, our last flare. We have two more flashbangs and those links I will go to just to get an achievement. Oh, come on. Whoa, what was exploding around me? That wasn't me doing that. All those explosions happened before I threw out my flashbangs. Got that in the nick of time. I th think I heard something coming after me, but I was just mostly focused on getting that going. We got one flare. Wow. I'm starting to wonder if this uh, achievement is really worth it, but you know, what the? crap indeed but uh, you know I really am a huge fan of getting as much achievements as I can and especially collectibles in fact I'm more into collectibles than achievements funny enough I don't have any collectibles or achievements in my own game games none of the games I've made I have any collectibles or achievements I guess the collectibles in my game is just like getting it depends on the game I have, um, the horror games I'm working on, usually picking up like newspaper clippings or stuff like that to get the backstory. And of like the RPG, the fantasy RPG games I make, I don't have like anything that could be considered a collectible, at least not that I can think of. I feel like... I might have missed something back there, but I guess not. Safety of the light is always a good thing. I can tell you that for damn sure. <sighs> Darkness, yeah. I feel like there, there is definitely a se secret supply chest here somewhere so I'm pretty sure with all this paint ah here we go over here goody 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 very good a oh, good a oh, good <laughs> I don't know
I vaguely remember this area. There's something over here, I believe. Unless I already got it. Some coffee thermos around here somewhere. By the silo. Yep, I think I already got it. Well, that's that, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything there, so uh, I must have already gotten it. Coolio, homie G. Hmm. I don't remember if there are any any enemies in this area. Wow, the further we get to the very end of the game, I like the, the generator less I remember of it. Yeah, generator. Okay, cool. So we have a generator. We need to go to anything in here. Doesn't look like it. Anything over here? Uh, doesn't look like it. So we have no collectibles or supplies to get. Can't go in there. Uh, let's go get the manuscript. I believe this is a nightmare mode manuscript. Yep. Nightmare mode manuscript indeed. So now we can get the generator going. Get all the goods here. Alright, looks like I got everything. Alright. Two. Three. So it is three. Although I think some are different. And it sounds like we have a chainsaw dude coming after us, so that's great. It's only the good thing to hear. Get a flare out. Leave me alone, bastard. Oh, something died. Let's get this thing. Get a flare out right behind us. Oh, and we have it right there. Um... Well, that thing's swinging, so maybe it hit that electrical wire. Huh. Cool. Alright, let's up. Oh, push me away. How rude of you, contraption. Alright, so. Yeah. And another manuscript. La 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 Turn back now. There's a Ah, that's loud. There was a lot more uh of the taken than I remembered. I thought it was just inanimate objects for like most of the ending, but looks like Come on, get rid of them. Let me through. Getting close to the area where we're supposed to get the achievement. If I need it. Probably should have looked it up before if I needed it. I think I do, but I'm not sure. Awesome, got it. Now run. Do as you're told. No, never. Just making sure nobody's following us. Wow. I was about to jump that, but then I had a feeling that I probably should just use my flashlight on it. Good thing I thought about that. Alice never loved you. Do not play on Alan's insecurities. That's very rude. That's like one of his worst fears. I remember this ending, that's for damn sure. I think we take care of it with uh, flare guns. 
I mean, technically it's not over yet. We still have like 10 minutes or something. But I remember this part of the ending. Ah, fun times here. Destroy the tornado. Get rid of these things. Awesome. Yeah. I remember this area. It was so much fun uh, doing this for the first time. Let's see if it's still as much fun. Let's get over here. You will fail. Alright, let's go and find her. There we go. It's all in your head. Maybe, but what's the harm in still doing this? Two. Is it just like any other game where it's a three shot kill? Got those taken care of. Alright, see if it's a three shot kill. Classic video game logic. Three hit kills. You know, when you're like playing Donkey Kong or, you know, the old classic games, it's usually three hits. I wonder if in normal mode, or aka hard mode, if it's two shots and in easy, aka normal mode, if it is uh, one shot. Can't remember, I think it's three no matter what. That is extreme there. Yeah, pretty much. That is... An extreme jump there. I'm surprised he did it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. This was where I was like slightly was freaking out when I first played this. I was like, what is this no. all a dream? Everything's fine. You're home. Until I saw the weird black fine. darkness outside. Turn the lights on. And the voice going weird. Turn the lights on! Baby, the power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. Yeah. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? Yeah, the, Alice. Turn the lights on now. When I first played Where's this, the what did you do with it? I freaked out for very little until I, you know, me now. saw the darkness. To it took like a few seconds close? before I realized you it was uh, all a trick, you know, of the darkness. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Thank you. Departure is your best work yet. You're I'll still take the compliment so even from the enemy. <laughs> Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come hey, you can't down. tempt me. Even though you kind of can. I was tempted. Still am slightly tempted. There's supposed to be a uh, thermos in here as well, if you didn't get it for the first time. And this right here, getting the word, like does the the special uh, ex uh, I don't want to call them expansions or DLC so the special episodes that I will be doing after this you must find um, your into the cabin. that whole like lighting up the words kind of like plays a huge role in those games in those two uh, episodes and ever since, ever from here till the credits, the very end, um, using light for the words is a thing. This part still creeps me out and confuses me. Don't mind him, he's Mr. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. So, here's my question at this part. Was this whole time, was Scratch the person writing? And we were doing the stuff. Or he says he'll meet your friend soon. So is Scratch the person who's been doing... Have we been technically the one writing the whole time? And then Scratch is the person we've been playing? Or is Scratch technically referring to... He's what our friends are going to see after all this is done with. Like, 
can go either way. Is Scratch who we've been playing this whole game? Or is Scratch, um... Is he the person our people, our friends and family will see while we are stuck in the cabin in the darkness? And that we, every time we see the, uh, TV screens with ourselves talking like a madman, is that really us? And then we were playing Scratch the whole time? See, it can either go either way. Idea of the path, yeah. I'm gonna get, like, pretty much all this stuff. And the coffee thermos, if I remember right, is in this intro area, like, behind a couch. I already passed it, but I was talking. So that's like my idea, it's like either A, we and Scratch, I'm leaving you know, Scratch what? is playing the whole game while we were in the darkness of the cabin, or B, um, we were also, we were in the cabin in the darkness, then we left, then we played this part, and then Scratch is going to leave while we go back into the darkness. I don't know. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Don't know. Still don't know. After all these times trying to play this. What are you doing, Alan? Stop! This doesn't sound like something that would ever happen. Nothing like yeah, that I know. I know enough about Alan and Alice to know that something like that would never actually happen. They're like heavily in love with each other. In fact, the very first thing she says when she gets saved. Well, we'll wait and see what she says. I really like the idea of having to use light to uh, make words come to life. I like how I like how Tom and Barbara are the same voices who do Alan and Alice. At least it really sounds like it. That's creepy. <laughs> Even if it is darkness, it's still pretty creepy. Like, I'm doing this because I feel like you shouldn't be able to pick this up without the pool there. I mean, it does work, but this is taking a lot of light. There we go. Bird foot cabin is what it should be called. Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? I wonder if this is really Alice here. Your husband refused to do as I think he that was really told. Is her. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Oh, I always keep forgetting to allow the cutscene to play. Well, not always, but a lot of times. I like how she has a shadow, even though there's not much light. In now her. you will never get her back. Oh, really? In a way, I'm that's kind of true. older than you. Older than your first work of art. I mean, you were there find a new face before uh, the Anderson twins, even, so... Free. Alan was probably born 1980. No, he was probably born in 1975 at the latest, 78 maybe? 78, 88, 98, 08. It gives him to be about 30, so I'd say about 7. He was born in about 75. He is older than me. For sure, about 10 years older, but still. Because this game came out in 2008. But yeah, we took out the darkness, the dark presence. 
It wears my barbarous skin. Well, it does not anymore. In fact, it is no more. All right, time to go. I could feel Alice's presence close by. That's good. I understood what I had to do now. Uh -huh. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. Yeah. There's light and there's darkness. Yeah. Cause and effect. There's guilt That's and That's very there's Merovingian of you right but the there. The scales always need to balance everything From the Matrix. Price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. The French man. Hey, yeah, this part reminds me of, um... Flight. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Which doesn't work in my world, because my world's a fantasy world, so... There doesn't have to be a balance. That's the fun thing about... I'm very much all about balance, but in the fantasy world, it's kind of fun to not oh, no. need something like that. So, yeah, we can kind of surmise what he does here. Practically a trade-off. But it sucks on her end as well, but, you know. If you, like, really think about it. Because, uh... The more you know about these people, the more you realize that she loves him just as much as he loves her. This uh, swimming animation is a little wonky, but we'll forgive it because it's such a good game. With her hair like that, she looks quite hot actually. So apparently, um, this area right here, the book version of the game, talks about how Sarah figures that Alan will save her, and the place that she will arrive will be this area. So what we don't see is Sarah um, wrapping a blanket around her. And taking her back to town. Alan? Yep, that's the very first person. That's the very first thing she says. It's how you can tell that they love each other very much. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> uh, poor Alice. Never see him again. And now it's all just fun cutscene that raises more questions, kinda. And I had, my idea was it brought everybody back, but I've also heard that uh, some other things, so I'll bring up those ideas when we see, when we get to the part of the cutscene. So yeah, Deerfest. This whole game took place in two weeks, but the first week was kind of like not there, so technically it, we only saw the week of it. So yeah, we'll see a few people come back. Those guys didn't die, I suppose. Well, nobody really died, but we'll see the creepy part right here. So, a lot of people say that she's the new lamp lady, apparently. And I don't have any clue about the agent there. I don't. Oh, and I love this part right here. It's so freaking creepy. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. It's an ocean. Oh. Alan, wake up. And that's that. Now we just have the credits go through. Um. with one of my favorite songs from David Bowie actually um yeah so there's not much else I can say about the game that I haven't said a hundred thousand times already but um it is still one of my all-time favorite horror games and the only other one that probably compares to it as far as I'm concerned is Resident Evil 4 
Um, I can only hope to make such awesome games one day. My 2D games, the 2D versions of the games I make, which you can actually play if you are so inclined to do so. The 2D versions of my games aren't that great, but I'm hoping the 3D versions will be awesome. Um, who knows? Uh, but this is one of my favorite games also not just horror games but just one of my favorite all-time games because i really enjoy the story um the controls are great so i can actually enjoy the story and the creep factor in the game is like at a good amount it's really good it's not horrifying and it's not really scary um at least not to me um but the creep factor is there so much that it like makes up for the lack of horror um, the cutscenes are great for a horror game because as everybody knows I do love cutscenes in games but in horror games they, especially 2D horror games mostly 2D go horror games but I don't really like long cutscenes in horror games in general and the uh, cutscenes in this game are just right there's very few where I'm just like this is too much usually they're at the end of the episode which is I'm fine with um, I'm trying to find anything else to talk about but I, I really also like the fact that it's um, a writer that you're playing as, and I am mostly, I consider myself mostly a writer, so that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy this game a lot. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let the credits roll out.
I hope you guys all enjoyed the session. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the videos from this session. Uh, and I hope you all enjoyed the game. There's still, you know, the special episodes coming up. And some bonus episodes. But uh, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the main part of Alan Wake as much as I did or close. Yeah. Love y'all. Peace to you. And as always, stay safe. Moonless nights, they may still haunt this place.